How's it going guys? Welcome back to the JNK Racing Channel today. This is my 2016 Yamaha Raptor 700R SE. So you it's been on the channel a couple times. I've put up my own riding videos and stuff like that. Um this is my brothers, so we have a tandem duo kinda. But um so yeah, today I've done a lot to this over the last couple in the last year or so. Got the dual I got a big gun Evo R dual exhaust setup going. And I know the dual exhaust is kind of stupid on the 16 or the newer gen Raptor 700s, but it looks badass. That was the reason why I kind of did it. No, it doesn't really help me more performance wise as far as a single pipe might. Um, but nevertheless, I have it done anyway. I have a PC5 tuner for the exhaust and everything because that's you got to have that. I got some new JVC Cross Country Masters. Huge shout out to Big Gun Exhaust again. Big Gun, uh, they shout us, shouted us out on their Instagram with this after we did it last winter. So big shout out, big thanks to them. And uh, so yeah, today, oh, I also did a new lowering kit. I, it wasn't a fancy one. I'd love to get some extended A arms and stuff like that for the upper and lower. Uh, definitely lower. But for now, I have the you know eBay, Amazon, standard. Things I don't know. They just make it <laughs> shocks out, mount out wider, but definitely um, it has a way more it's a wider stance. I actually, had to like shift this whole shelf over to get it to fit in because it made it wide enough where it was the puzzle pieces didn't work. So I, that was the front, the back. We got this linkage. I attempted to make a video on this, but we ended up getting caught up on our uh, we bought a few another field car, our Saturn SL. It's a two thousand. We do have a video coming up on that soon. I don't know when it's coming on the channel. We've been having some editing problems with our software, but it will be up soon. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great little car. So we got distracted the other day, messing around back when I was making the video for the lowering kit. So I don't have a video for it. <laughs> so today, you're probably wondering if I ever got to the point, but you probably could tell by the description of the video, we're going to be doing the last thing that I've been wanting to do for forever. An air filter, yes, finally. The stock one is not going to cut it for my purposes anymore. Um, I got a Travis and his, you know, Stroker Banshee build is coming up here. More on that on the channel coming soon as well. Uh, AJ just did a big bore YFZ. I can't keep track of what the actual size is, but he just did that. So now I don't want to mess with this because it's a brand new quad. You know, it's turn button. It just works. Um, I don't want to mess with this yet. I, li I like it's easy. It's not, you know, not a problem, whatever. So we're going to run this stock for now. And uh, but I'm, I'm just doing every upgrade I possibly can to get more power. So I got the exhaust, the tuner, the air filter will finish it off. And then um, the last thing I wanted to do would be the uh, a smaller, like a, a 13 tooth sprocket up front here, just to get some more low end power. Because for what we do, in the trails, up the hills, we're not really in open spaces that often. And even when we do our drag races, we do everything pretty short. So as much as this thing is, is uh, good at top end, I don't need top end anymore because I just don't. So now we're going to be doing the air filter today. And I'm going to do a sprocket change on this before spring because I want to rip this thing good this spring. And when we go up to Majestic in May, I believe is the planned trip. Um, Got to rip this good. Start getting this ready, and um, so yeah, really that's it. We're just gonna do the air filter. Shouldn't be too long a video, but uh, get rid of this. I mean, it's it's filthy. I haven't cleaned it since last year. I haven't even ridden this in months. But uh, so yeah, we're gonna do this. It comes with the billet thing or whatever you call it, the plate that you need that goes in between the box and the filter to make it fit right. So we're gonna get rid of this shot foam one. I got a new pod filter, the K9 High Flow Air. I might try to do something different with this. I'm not really sure. I know on Travis's old blaster, someone had done like the, the whole thing where they cut out little circles here just to allow more airflow. And I might consider doing that if this uh, feels like it bogs out and cuts out too bad. But, um, or I might just toss this in the trash. Like a lot of the guys in the Raptor forums say, just toss the lid in the trash, or it's not enough power for you. So that's getting done. We're gonna do a parking brake delete because it's pretty much useless. It just wears out, but as soon as the pads and the rear wear out, you get this. Constant readjustment, constantly annoying me. So I'm just gonna get rid of that all together, make it a clean, simple, 
one less thing for it to break while I'm riding to fuck up stuff. And uh, so yeah, let's get started on putting this high flow K9 air filter into my Raptor 700R. All right, so here it is, K and N high flow air filter. Um, it's different because it's not the foam; it's the I don't know what you call it—the mash or whatever. So we got that. And it's got this bubble and, that's junk. and uh, we got a, an ad adapter plate, which which is what I was trying to refer to, which bolts into here into the air box. So I think, and I don't really have any way to mount my camera to record anything. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna. I'm gonna just tell you run down what I'm gonna do here and just do it and then I'll uh, do some updates or whatever so I got to remove the bolts I got to cut my custom bolts because I totally these new these dual exhaust pipe I mean they sound phenomenal absolutely awesome but they rattle every single goddamn bolt out of this thing so I lost three of these just from vibrations I've lost my foot peg ones on both sides off of just pure um vibration so because of that it's kind of easier because i'm missing four bolts same time it's annoying because i'm missing four bolts um so yeah we're gonna just take the air box out we're gonna throw this new adapter plate in and uh yeah when i get to taking this out i will come back and give another update Man. all right guys so i've got the air box out it's kind of out. The stupid engine, the ECM or whatever you want to call it, is still connected to the box, so I can't. I don't want to take it off. It's like kind of beat. It, I don't know. It's it's too much work for something I don't really need to do. So I got these off. It was pretty easy. Like I said, I only had one bolt in the top and the two on the sides. So that's good. Um, so basically, now all I have to do is just take and drill out these rivets in here to get this junk out of the way. Drill out the rivets here with, you know, my Wapney. And uh, yeah, drill these out and we'll plop the new coupler, whatever you call it, the thing I keep forgetting the word for it, in place. And then we should be looking mint. All right guys, so we were successful in drilling out the rivets on the old air cleaner filter mount thing. I don't know. Anyway, so we we're successful getting those out. Kind of a pain, but you know, it works. So. We got our new, um, whatever you call it, it, just sits in here like this, I think. And uh, got a couple bolts and nuts and washers. We throw these through here, hook them up, tighten them down, and uh, yeah, I think we have an air filter. So let's get back to it. All right, guys, so here it is. Air filter in, rivets drilled, adapter plate installed, bolted tight, in. So there it is, our k and air filter. High flow air filter, I should say, is installed in the Raptor. Um, I definitely think it'll help with my performance. Definitely give us a little more go, uh, especially with the exhaust and the tuner and, and all that. Got the tuner. I actually did find like the strap or whatever that goes right here. Anyway, it was like buried in the plastic underneath piece here, which I got to put all back together uh, still. But once we do that. She'll be back together again. If I'm running, driving, huh, it would run now. But you know what I mean. Go back together. I'll fix my new zip ties into here and here again. Got my one bolt left. I gotta buy more. I probably won't because it's too cheap. So we'll do that. Raptor 700R, ready to go. So yeah, there it is. Well, thank you for watching the video. I know it's kind of a long one, but it was wasn't too bad, I guess. So it's a very nice kit. Comes with everything. It's very simple. Instructions are good. Well, and laid out, um, yeah, it comes with, these bolts are nice. I hate that they're Allen key. Couldn't find the damn Allen key. I went looking in the barn, looking in the toolbox inside. Could not find the fucking Allen key, but eventually I found it. Tightened it down with the wrench, everything. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. 2016 Raptor 700R. Guys, there's more coming to this on the channel. If you have any recommendations to me, what I should do to make more power, help me beat the Banshee, because four-stroke life is better than the two-stroke. Let me know. Throw your uh, comments down below. Let me know if you like the video. If you hate it, tell me that too. I don't care. Um, but yeah, for sure. You want to see more videos on the Raptor? More customizations are coming soon. And uh, yeah, stay subscribed. And thank you for watching the Jane Curation channel. Mint.